Hello everyone and welcome to EduSearch Clinics. The series is correlate clinically and here we discuss some important scans and these discussions are done with the radiologist on the console. So I will just show you this scan first and once you have seen the scan, we will discuss the findings in all the various points that we need to assess to plan the surgery or treatment for this patient. If you want to have understanding of the basics of the CT, we have an entire playlist on radiology section. These videos are more practical and point at the important key findings that you need to understand while planning surgery. It is very important that the surgeon has a discussion with the radiologist and sees the scan on the console to plan the surgeries, right? Again, Identify the phase, look at the morphology of the lesion, identify the lesion, look at the various vessels and from surgical point of view, understand what surgery you would plan for this patient based on the scan findings, right? So, these are all the points that you can have a look at, okay? So, arterial phase and the venous phase, if you want to understand the triphasic pancreas protocol and liver protocol, we have separate videos on it. So, now let's dive into this scan. There is no metastatic disease, right? You have seen the entire scan. There is an incidental umbilical hernia. So, let's get that point out of the way first, right? If you did not notice, there is an incidental umbilical hernia, okay? There is a hypodense lesion, right? This is the portal phase. You can see the portal vein and the supermetric vein. That's the intrahepatic portal vein going down. Okay, this is the splenic vein. Now, it's very important in this patient to trace the entire splenic vein. Okay, because if splenic vein is involved by the tumor, we cannot do a spleen preserving distal pancreatectomy with vessel preservation, okay, which is known as the Kimura procedure. So, this patient would need a Warsaw if the splenic vein is involved. And this is important to study on the scan. So, as you can see in this scan, the splenic vein is preserved. Okay, You can trace the entire splenic vein. This is the splenic vein. And as you go towards the spleen, you can see this is, this is the splenic vein. Okay, And as you go towards the spleen, there that is the splenic vein. So, the entire splenic vein is traceable. It is cutting the tumor. Important to understand when you are operating that it is cutting the posterior margin of the tumor, right? But it appears free. Other important point is the junction of the tumor with the pancreas. The junction is just to the left of the portal vein, right? So, this is where you can transact the pancreas at the level of tunnel that you create in a Whipple procedure. Another important point to note, right? Now we look at colon involvement. Is there colon involvement or not? That is the stomach. Stomach is not involved by the tumor, right? The plane is preserved. And as we have a look at the colon, this is the colon, the splenic flexure. The colon does not look to be involved by the tumor, right? The colon is free. That's the splenic flexure. And as we go down, that is a descending. So, the colon is free, stomach is free, splenic vein is free. Another important structure to see is the duodenum. That is the duodenum. Trace the duodenum, okay? Towards the mass and the duodenum appears abutting but free, right? So, that is what you have to understand. Now, we go into the arterial phase, okay? And the most important structure to identify here, of course, is the splenic artery. This is the splenic artery. Keep tracing it. Okay. Keep tracing it towards the lesion and towards the spleen. So, this is the splenic artery. And as you trace it proximally, you can see that the splenic artery is free from the tumor. It is cutting the tumor, but it is free. The important point to realize is that the medial boundary of the lesion is 
covered by various vessels. Okay. And these are the vessels that will need to be identified and protected while operating this patient. Okay. So this disease is operable. We have seen the colon in the stomach is free, the duodenum is free, pancreatic transaction plane is visible, and the splenic vein and artery as well as the spleen are free. Another important point to identify is the distance of the tumor from the spleen. The tumor is quite away from the spleen. So, spleen-preserving distal pancreatectomy is definitely possible in this case. As I always say before ending your scan review, always look at the coronal picture as well. Okay, The coronal picture can sometimes give additional information. The left kidney is also free, so that we are not worried. So, all the structures are free. Splenic artery and splenic vein are cutting the lesion, but they are not involved in the lesion. They are not involved in the lesion, the arterial phase. And in the venous phase also, have a look at the coronal section. Okay. Very important to have a look at the coronal section. Important vessel to identify in this section Okay, again is the splenic vein and the related structures. Okay, so the splenic vein is cutting the tumor but is free. That is important to identify. Okay, another important vein to identify is the inferior mesenteric vein. Yeah, that is what you need to identify. Right, so overall, this patient does not have metastasis, there is no ascites. The splenic vein and splenic artery are free. The duodenum, colon and stomach are free. Now coming to the lesion. The lesion has a few septations. Okay. And this is not adenocarcinoma that we already know. This lesion has few septations. There are few cystic areas. And looks like a cystic lesion of the pancreas. This patient was operated with a spleen-preserving distal pancreatectomy. And the final histopathology was microcystic adenoma with no malignant potential. So that is how you review these scans with your radiologist on the console and plan your surgery so that you don't miss out on points. You understand the radiologist's perspective and the radiologist understands the surgeon's perspective, right? and a proper treatment plan for the patient is formed. That is why this series Correlate Clinical is very practical at understanding the CT scan findings from both the radiologist as well as the surgeon point of view. Thank you.